Well, happy Friday, everybody. Honey, how in the world? How y'all doing today? Child, it's Friday. Are you happy because it's Friday? Mm, 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 honey. <laughs> Child. <laughs> Friday night. Parties jumping. Feeling bright. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> honey, back in the day, y'all, honey, I used to be happy about a Friday, okay? Because, um, I don't know if I ever told y'all this, but honey, I, you know what? That ain't even what this is all about. So let me, I'm, I'm about to get lost, y'all, okay? I'm about to get lost. Let me just do what I came on here to do, okay? And we're going to say that about what I used to do on Friday nights for another show. You know what I'm saying? One of them, tell the truth and shame the devil's there. The sitcom is over, but I still, every now and again, might have a little story I might want to tell y'all. Honey, so anyway, um, chill. Mm, mm, mm. How about Hot Topic, honey? Honey, I was riding in the car, okay, when we was doing to take the kids to school. Husband got to go to work, honey, and the radio was on. Chow, it is a time in the land. Let me just say that, okay? Whew. All right, so let me tell you the story, okay? Honey, this story is coming straight out of Alabama, okay? They said the pastor, okay, the preacher okay from alabama he was around 40 something years old 47 years old okay so he got up in a pulpit um and uh one sunday and um you know he did one of those tell the truth and shame the devil ordeals and honey he had a, he had three episodes okay the first episode was he got up there and told the people um that um congregate told the congregation that he had been sleeping with some of the members, some of the women, members of the church, okay, in the building, okay? Not that he was sleeping with them only, but he was actually doing it inside of the church, okay? I don't know if he did it in his office or where he did He didn't do it in the sanctuary, but somewhere within the church walls, okay, he was uh, having a few women, uh, you know, some of the members, okay? Now, that was his first reveal, okay? Episode number two, okay, he got up in the pulpit and told the congregation, um, I, I need to admit to y'all that um, I, I have been using drugs, okay, all right, all right, so bam, he told the truth and shamed the devil, honey. Now, child, I need to get me some um, chocolate going on for, to get to the third one, because, mm, honey, hot topic, honey, I got to eat me a piece of chocolate when I'm talking about some hot stuff, okay? Mm, mm, mm. So, yeah, we on Snickers. Mm -hmm. I ain't going to tell y'all the story about why this Snicker is so big, okay? Yeah, I told you about the Kit Kat. Well, yeah, my hubby, you know. Y'all know about my hubby, oh, okay? Mm -hmm. Honey. Now, y'all, let me just tell y'all this, okay? Let me get a little piece of chocolate in my life first, honey. Knife on set, Okay. So somebody said, well, why you got a knife on set, honey? Chill, I might have to cut a bitch. <laughs> honey? Mm, mm, mm. No, honey, but no. I, those days are over, okay? I don't do that, those violent things anymore, okay? Yeah, um... Yeah, I, I revealed that. You know, my, one of my tell the truth, Shane the Devils. Yeah, I had revealed about my, um... So, well, anyhow, let's keep it moving, okay? Now, honey, snicker. Honey, it's got everything you like and need up in that bad boy. Honey, mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. So, all right, y'all. This will be doing for hair, okay? Let me multitask. Y'all know I like to multitask, okay? So, still got my two-strand twist. I did not put the rods back in it, okay? These spiral curls came from these rods. I, get, I think they're called flexi rods. But I didn't put these back in last night. They were so tight because I put equal style gel on it. Two strand twisted it. 
put the rod on there and I came out with that coily looking yeah and high ponytail back here I had two strand twists in the little bun part I took them apart and just made it like a little bun okay so that's what mama doing okay brown necklace because I got on a brown shirt of course okay um a little brownish here I went silver on the um accessories up here okay because I've had um I did brown earrings yesterday so we switched it up a little bit okay on my lips now let me tell y'all this real quick Miss Ann was doing um, her video yesterday, and she was pulling out all her old makeups from back in the day. And I thought that was kind of neat, because I've never seen anybody go way back and pull out stuff from way back. And honey, she was talking about some products that I hadn't heard in eons, honey. So that's the reason why I'm telling y'all about that, is because when she did it, she was, honey, she was talking about Fashion Fair. Estee Lauder, Mary Kay, all of the, 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 um, the, the um, high-end products from back in the day, makeup products from back in the day. And just so happened yesterday, I had pulled out my Mary Kay lip gloss. And um, I told her, I said, girl, I just used a Mary Kay product, um, you know, earlier today. So, I, and I actually like this. And I don't, in the color, let me tell y'all what color this is. Okay. This is called Cream and sugar okay cream and sugar by mary Kay. all right and um i actually like that okay because um it looks gold in the um container but it comes out like a little it's not exactly gold but i like it now i actually thought i was gonna have to mix it because i was gonna mix it by putting um this is milani What's the name of this stuff? Sometimes it's hard to see this stuff. This is some kind of crystal gloss by Milani. And I was going to put that on top, but I actually like it the way it is. Okay. Then I used some Spice Blush. That's the color I used on my cheeks. Then I used um, like a goldish, bronzy looking blush. But I use it as like a highlighter. You know, I heard y'all say, you know, you put your blush on and then you put something as a highlighter. Now, I don't, I don't remember if y'all say put the highlighter up this part um, over top of the uh, blush or under here. Like when you do your contour, like in your contour area. So, I just put it kind of like in this area. Like a highlight. Um, I showed it to y'all yesterday because I wore it yesterday as a blush only. But today, I used it as a highlighter. It's um, L.A. Colors Bronzer. Oh, actually, okay. It's a bronze. It's a bronzer, and the color is bronze. I used it as a highlight, okay? Yeah. I don't have any rules when it comes to makeup, okay? I just do me, okay? That's all I mama know how to do. Honey is me, okay? All right. So that's what's going on today, okay? And then I put a little um, gold glitter. I showed this to y'all yesterday. And um, it has a sponge on it, and this, that's glitter on it. That ain't dirt. Really? Y'all thought that was dirt? Just because, you know, you got to rub it all on yourself, all over your body. Well, it's not dirt, okay? It's actually the bronzy, goldy-looking uh, glitter. Anywho, and this is what it looks like on the inside. Isn't that the beautifulest thing, y'all? So, anywho, let me get back, honey, to this topic, honey, because I know I just went somewhere. I didn't even do my eyebrow, um, eye, um, shadow yet. I did mascara and eyeliner, blush, lip. When I went to go do, well, I usually do my eyes, my shadow first, but, honey, I, I yeah, I had to go this morning. We can do that on set. So, anywho, honey... Episode number three. Now, he done told the people I've been sleeping with some of y'all members. And, um, and inside the church, like, we ain't go to the hotel. We ain't go to her house. We ain't go to, his, you know, my house. We did it in the church. Then he came back. Episode two, honey. I've been using drugs. And, honey, episode number three. That's going to require another piece of candy. Chocolate. <laughs> he came on there and said, okay... I have um, AIDS. That's what he said to the people. He said, I have AIDS 
And um, I uh, have been continuously sleeping with the members, even though I know that I have AIDS. in the car, okay? Now, I'm not judging, honey, because I am not the one, okay? I ain't judging nobody, okay? I do not have, I'm not even going to give my opinion, okay, of what I think about that little situation. I'm just going to say I was floored, okay? But, um, I ain't judging nobody, honey, because we all have came short, Okay. Mm, mm, mm. Anyhow. Anywho, I'm just telling y'all the story, okay, that I heard on the radio, okay? I'm not giving my opinion or anything like that. It's a sad story, okay? It's a really sad story, okay? Um, But that's it. That's all I'm going to say about it, okay? But I thought I'd share it with y'all in case some of y'all have not heard it yet. Um... But I will give you a quote, okay, that might relate to this uh, situation that has uh, came about in the church. Now, <clears throat> I must say, I'm not surprised by the story of the pastor sleeping with some of the, uh, the women, some of the church members. Because, you know, you hear the news and you've heard these stories before about the pastor sleeping with the members. You even heard the story about the pastor who he was sleeping with the boys in the church, okay? Um, they were 20 year old boys or they were 20 year old males. I'll just say that. But the point is, you know, that scandal came out about him sleeping with all of these guys, uh, these, uh, boys in the church and buying them cars and all kinds of stuff. Um, and then you've heard about the pastors who didn't slept with the, the women's in the church and then got them pregnant and all that kind of stuff. So I'm not shocked by the story of a pastor sleeping with the members, um, was I shocked to hear that he had AIDS and he knew it and he continued to sleep with these people? Yeah, I was shocked. Okay, I'm going to just go on and say that. <laughs> I was shocked. But, um, we all have sinned and have came short, um, of the glory of the Lord. Okay, all right. Now, I ain't preaching or nothing, but I'm just saying, like, I can't pass no judgment, honey, because I know I didn't came short. <laughs> honey. Now, let me just read a quote. I'll just do that, okay? I'm safe if I just do that, okay? Yeah, because, you know, people you know, people are very sensitive up on this thing called YouTube, okay? And I try to cater to the sensibility of people up on here. I try, okay? I don't always do it, you know, like to the fullest, but I try, okay? So, with this little situation right here, mm -mm, I ain't going to go there, honey. Matter of fact... They say, silence and a smile are two powerful tools. Smile is the way to solve many problems, and silence is the way to avoid many problems. <laughs> Honey, how about I'm silent, on my opinion, okay? But I'm just telling y'all the story. Now, I ain't create the story, okay? This story is out there, and I heard it, and I'm just telling y'all about it. I'm just sharing, you know, the story that I heard on the radio. But anywho, yeah, honey, silence is the way to avoid many problems. Honey, I'm going to avoid problems right here and now. We're going to keep this moving. Now, I will say I, I was curious as to whether or not some of the women that the pastor was sleeping with in the church, whether they were married or had boyfriends, because I've heard of stories like that too now, where some of the women in the church was married, and they were sneaking around with the pastor, honey, I didn't heard them stories too, so this story made me wonder, was some of these women married, because once they say that he had AIDS, and he was continuously sleeping with these women, I started thinking about, not just the women, but the, you know, if they were actually married, and cheating on their spouse, I mean, I don't know, that just made me think, like, I wonder, Honey, that leads me to say this. And I didn't make up this quote, honey. I saw it. I loved it. I wrote it down. And I'm just sharing it with y'all. Honey. Mm. The finest brother on the outside might bring you the most pain on the inside. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right now. Honey, I'm just saying. Child, you got to be more careful. 
All right, so let's see. And then I, I, I thought about this too. If if some of the women were married or in relationships, okay, and you wonder, well, if they were married and in relationships, how they end up being with the pastor? Well, honey, here's another quote. If you're in a relationship and you're lonely, then you are single, okay? Now, Michael Bates then posted this, and I read it on Facebook way back when last year, okay? I read it on I read it up on my on my channel here, December fifth. Cause see, I, I write down my quotes. I write down the date that I read them. Cause I try not to reread them, but sometimes, honey, it's necessary just to come back and reiterate. Okay, and uh, that's what he say. If you're in a relationship and you're lonely, then you are single, honey. Okay, so maybe you know if these women were in relationships or in marriages, honey. You never know. Maybe they, you know, felt lonely even though they were in a relationship. And that's what happened. I don't know. I'm just saying. I'm sorry. I'm just checking my time here. I'm at 16 minutes. So we're going to get ready to wrap this up. But, honey, yeah. So, um, mm, mm, mm. And uh, let me see if I can find one more. Child, mm. Um, yeah, so mama gonna get ready to do, um, her, uh, eyeshadow, cause I ain't get a chance to do it. All right, let me read this last quote, y'all, okay? And then, um, I'm gonna see if I can hurry up and do my, uh, makeup. Now, only thing I'm gonna say about this, honey, you can learn a lesson from this situation here, um, as it relates to, um, this story. The lesson is, honey, you got to be careful, okay? The slim, the, the pickings out, out here as far as trying to find a mate, honey, I, I would say that um, it is slim to none, okay? Um, you know, it, 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 it's not easy out here trying to find a mate, okay? The, the, the pickings are slim to none. I'll just say that. So, therefore, you know, when you out there picking or, you, you know, you out there, just doing you, okay? You might not be in a relationship. You might just be doing you. And that's all cool, okay? If that's what you choose to do. I mean, I'm not saying that's cool. I'm just saying you do you and I'll do me, okay? I'll just say that, okay? Because, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not telling people what's cool, what ain't, what they need to do. You do you and I do me. I'm just saying be careful out there, honey, because you never know who walking around with a disease, and they not telling nobody, okay? And this leads me to this. The reason why I say it's slim to none, pickings out there, and honey, if you do, if you are with somebody, honey, and you, you know, I don't know, you might be complaining, you're sick of them, you this, you that. Well, honey, just think about this right here, okay? Think about that story I just told you about the pastor having the AIDS and still sleeping with the women. It's a whole lot of folk out there that's doing that, Okay? Here's what I'm going to tell you ladies who might be in a relationship and might be, you know, I'm sick of his ass, okay? I am sick of that Negro here. Uh, okay, if you wanted them, listen to this. No girl really wants to start over with another guy. Telling her secrets, giving her body to somebody new, falling in love all over again. Mm-mm, no. She want the same guy, okay, that she been rocking with okay, to get his shit together and make it right, okay, all right, yeah, so that's what I'm saying, the pickings is slim to none out here, so if you got somebody, honey, try to make it work, okay, work with him, try to help him, if he got some kind of issues, try to work on you, try to work on him, honey, just try to d d d just get it right, okay, because the, the, the pickings, honey, I'm telling you, it's terrible, so, yeah, just, just try to do, if you got to go get some counseling, honey, go get some counseling. Just do whatever you got to do to make those wrongs right, okay? That's my tip, okay? Come here, Gabby. Come here, what's wrong? Yeah, just try to make it right, honey, if you can. Because, honey, mm, mm, mm. So, yeah, that's the hot topic, honey, Um, of the, the day, okay? Yeah, that, that was a sad story. Um, And, um... I just wanted to come on here and tell y'all, honey, what I had heard. Okay, so I'm going to use this palette right here. I'm going to get off set and do this. But it's called um, Clean Color Beauty Maze. 
Um, and I had got this from Rainbow. And I'm going to use this dark brown right here because I'm wearing brown today. And I think I'm going to come in my inner eye tear duct with this bronzy looking brown. Okay? Inner eye tear duct cut crease. Okay? But I'm going to get off set because we about 20 minutes in now. So, yeah, it's time for Mama to go. Bam, honey. Mm-hmm. Got my smell good for the day. Paris Amore. No, I don't want to use that. I want to use... Lemon pomegranate cream that I got from Bath and Body Works. Oh my gosh. Now usually y'all, I'm an oil girl. But I'm in the house and I'm not really doing anything or going anywhere. So yeah, bam. That's what we doing. Honey, hit subscribe, honey. Okay? And um, I appreciate all of y'all who have stopped by. Okay? I appreciate everybody. I even appreciate when you come. And I can appreciate you when you leave it, honey. So if you don't like what you didn't seen here, honey, I'm sorry. I thank you for stopping by, honey. And uh, a goodbye. <laughs> yeah, but hopefully you'll stick around, okay? Because mama um, is off the chain. Just let me go ahead and tell you, I'm off the meat rack, okay? All right, goodbye, y'all. I'll see you in the next video. Only, <laughs> honey, if it's the Lord's will, okay? All right, now, goodbye.